Welcome to Release Your Wrists. I have so many yogis who come and ask me about how to release their wrists. They find that during yoga practice and fitness practices, the wrists get really sore and painful. And it doesn't have to be the way. So some really nice exercises that I do in every class that helps people out is to roll the wrists. So take a fist with each hand and take a roll here. So roll each wrist. This helps to lubricate the joints, create space, and just release the tension from writing, typing, and iPhoning. So going one way, and then rolling in the opposite direction. So let the wrists roll out, roll out. They can crack and crunch, and as long as it doesn't hurt, it's okay. So after this exercise, just start to release, let your fingers go, take a little shake from side to side. So this is really good just to create a bit of heat, a bit of warmth, to warm up that lubricating fluid that we have in the wrists and just shake it out, literally shake it out. It feels so good. So release, release, release. So here we're going from side to side. This helps in one angle and direction, the way the joint moves. And then if we take it up and down, like this flapping like a bird. It might look a little bit silly, but it does help release tightness in the wrists, in the forearms. So if you get carpal tunnel or tennis elbow, it's kind of a good way to ward that off and just create a happy wrist and arm. And then shake it off again, side to side, let it go. Really good. And then from here, another nice exercise is figure of eights. So interlacing your fingers here, keeping the heels of the hands fairly close together and starting to roll your wrists into a figure of eight. Or if you want to watch and kind of create a wave-like motion. So here you're stretching around the tops of the wrists, maybe a little, little bit around the top of your forearm as well. This feels kind of nice. And then let's go in the opposite direction. So from here, rolling the other way around. Sometimes it can be a bit of a mental exercise as well as a physical one. So give them a roll. You might feel everything starting to loosen up now, feel really good. And then release. Give everything a little shake. It feels good. So from here, maybe coming to tabletop position and creating a little bit more stretch. This is a bit more of a weight-bearing exercise. So from here, we can turn the hands to face the outside of your mat. So here, we've still got the shoulders and the wrists in one line, okay? And from here, very, very gently, starting to rock from side to side. So here, just feeling as we're weight bearing now, so we're compressing the joints a little bit. So keep pressing your finger pads and the knuckles of your hands into the ground. So create that foundation, that strength, that lift. And then coming back to center. And then to release forearms, we can take the fingers towards the knees, keeping elbows soft, a little micro bend here, pressing the pads of your fingers into the mat. And then you can start to draw your hips back towards your heels and lift the heels of your hands. So you can press the palms of your hands forward. Again, keeping elbows just a little bent at the moment. You'll feel this stretch from your fingertips up your arms. So it's a really good release from any work you do on your phone, on your laptop, on your computer. So it's quite a nice one to spend a little bit of time maybe closing eyes and when it feels like there's a little more space and this feels good in your body you can start to lift your elbows reaching the inner eye of your elbows to the sky and feel the stretch run all the way up to your armpits taking one more little rock back and then forward and release, turning the hands the right way, coming back to a seat, maybe give the fingers a little bit of a wiggle, maybe another roll with your wrists. And that is the best way to release your wrists, to feel good and to strengthen your yoga practice.